Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Joey with Sony Air. Today we're going to be going over some of the new features in Beat DJ 112. Uh, the first of which is going to be the Cloud Splitter command, which allows you to download sounds from the cloud on the fly. So the command for that is going to be CS. I'm not going to search for it, so it'll just be random. Let's see what that sounds like. Right, let's try again. So as you can see, it automatically pulled up a sample from the cloud. Let's try a more precise sample. And the way we're going to do that is just by going CS and kick. in there change the pattern index percussion in there change the pattern to the next feature which is we're going to be able to export all these sounds separately at the same time and the command for that is going to be a e x p s not going to normalize it And another thing we added is you are now able to back up your exports to the cloud and share with others. 
so when they use the cloud splitter command uh, it'll just take directly from the cloud uh, potentially using sounds that you have exported so we're gonna go yes on that and we'll check it out so we have all of our sounds in there there's a couple extra from earlier but oh, let's see Let me get back into it Uh, the next command is going to be the cloud command, uh, which pretty much just uh, helps you manage your cloud files. So when you clear that, type in cloud, and it's going to give us a bunch of options. So you can list them all download them, download specific BPM, uh, by tag, ID, and delete. So we're just going to want to list. It's going to be L, and it's going to show us all the sounds that we have in the cloud. And to view those sounds, we're going to just use the, uh, the fill command, which is going to be FIL. That's going to bring us, uh, bring up our download folder. I think we're in 120. So this is going to be the um, sum of what we just did. Now, to set the download folder as our source folder, uh, something else that we just added. Uh, so we're going to do SRC to set the source. And instead of having to type in the file path, it's just going to give us some options. So we got your music folder, desktop folder, downloads, BDJ downloads folder. And then another new thing, which we'll get into later, is the microphone recordings folder. But right now, we're just going to do the uh, Beat DJ Downloads folder. Double click that. And let's uh, go ahead and delete all of our current sounds. Let's see what it does. Oh, just kidding. That's a different one. Uh, let's just do S. And it's going to load up a sound that is in our BDJ download folder. So those are all sounds that just came from the folder that we were just in. Uh, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for next time. We've got a lot of new updates and bug fixes that we're going to go over. And thanks for watching.